Hi, everyone. Welcome to How to Build and Facilitate an OER Hackathon. In this short session, we're going to walk you through some nooks and bolts of how we at Bunker Hill Community College were able to host an OER Hackathon. Before we do that, though, I'd like to introduce um, our team. I'll start with myself. My name is Melissa Colon. I'm an associate professor in behavioral sciences and the co-facilitator of the Latinx Student Success Initiative at Bunker Hill. Kate? My name is Kate DeVito. I am the Senior Special Programs Coordinator. I am actually the at Bunker Hill Community College. Miguel? Hi, um, my name is Miguel Pedro Torres, and currently I'm Associate Dean at the Chelsea campus. Formerly, I was Professor of the Global Languages Department, where my colleague Alicia Gallego Fabsula now is. She, unfortunately, she couldn't join us today. Great. So this was really a great collaboration that, you know, took place on our campus, Bunker Hill, which is the largest community college in the state of Massachusetts, and it's located right in Boston. We have about 9,000 students. Um, the, majority of them, which are part-time students. Um, all four of us, um, the OER office, the Latinx Student Success Initiative, Global Languages, Behavioral Sciences, these departments, Kate, you can go to the next slide, already had a commitment to doing OER work, and we had begun to do OER work in our own practices. So we came up with an idea of hosting an OER Latinx hackathon. Now, before I talk about why OER, why Latinx? I wanted to focus on the hackathon part because I think that that's why you're here. When most of us think of a hackathon, we think of people coming together that have some kind of tech expertise or contact expertise in an intense period of time to share ideas, to innovate, to solve a problem. And that's exactly what we wanted to do in our OER Latinx hackathon. Next slide. In our community, um, we are very uh lucky that it is an incredibly rich um diverse um culturally interesting campus um we are a minority serving institution a hispanic serving institution and one of three of our students is of latino heritage in fact there's a little star there because we believe that there are more latino students um, on campus than one third um and our campus is um, unlike some other places across the country, the Latino community itself, next slide, is incredibly diverse. It represents multi-languages, multi-ethnics, ethnicities, nationalities, histories, political um, inclinations, value systems, and we like to call it Latinidades, right? That there's not one Latino way of being. Um, because there's such a large number of Latino students and because we're located um, within such uh, great diverse Latino communities, there is an interest to explore Latino studies. Next slide. So we decided that we wanted to bring together faculty and uh, faculty and staff to really explore Latino studies because we believe that Latino studies is for everyone. Um, faculty and staff had expressed an interest in having access to high quality resources that are relevant to students lives and to their own professions, and we were also equally committed to demystifying OER as part of our equity agenda. So we thought, let's bring together faculty and staff, let's get some great ideas on how it is that we can find OER materials that focus on the Latinx experience. Um, Miguel, I'll pass it to you. Thank you. So for uh, participants, let's start with the definition. So a Latinx OER hackathon we define it as uh, a Latinx OER hackathon will serve as a place where faculty and staff can find Latinx focused curricula and programmatic materials and ideas that they can use in their teaching and work. This is the definition we share with participants. It was sponsored by the Academic Innovation and Distance Education Aid, the Department of Global Languages, and the Latinx Student Success Initiative, LSSI. It was facilitated by one staff and three faculty members. Uh, the, as far as the attendees, it was a we sent a college-wide invitation, and the, the, we actually received college-wide participation from all programs and, and quarters of the uh, campus. Uh, a total of 23 people signed up for it. And this is how the program was structured. It was a six-week commitment. Uh, it was a 12 of uh, a total of 12 hours. 
and we, they had to do some synchronous and asynchronous work. Uh, it included two synchronous sessions, and they also had to do asynchronous work in a page, uh, in a Moodle page. Participants were enrolled in, in the Latinx OER Hackathon Moodle course at the beginning of the semester. First, they had an, an activity which was due even before we met for the first synchronous session. And after that, they had uh, activities three to five that were due before we met for the second session. And finally, they had to tune in a final report. During the second uh, session that we had, they presented their material to their peers. And during the, the synchronous sessions, we met through WebEx, which is a platform similar to uh, Zoom. It was a, it's a video conferencing, conferencing system that we use uh, in our college. And this is a screenshot of some of the participants that we, that we had. Next slide, please. We also work with um, some synchronous work as, as shown. Uh, so the deliverables, we actually curated the materials. They were supposed to train, uh, turn in a total of five OER Latinx focused materials. They presented those, as I said, during the last session that we had. And after that, we saved those materials and we shared those with uh, colleagues in our campus. And also it was, uh, it was posted in an open resource site. What we used for the course itself was Moodle. Our institution uses Moodle as our LMS and it was um, something that the faculty were comfortable using because they use it in their own courses. And it was set up by um, topic and it worked out very well. We also used some digital tools to promote discussions, one of which was Hypothesis. Hypothesis allows the user to annotate publicly and privately articles. And one article that we um, had the community work with was um, in the OER starter kit called um, Centering Diversity and Inclusion. And as you can see in the, on the side, people did use it and they did interact with each other and it was a very helpful um, tool for most of them. Where did we store the um, Latinx hackathon after we did it? Well, we have ePortfolio, and um, in our ePortfolio site, we have it listed with all of the materials for the OER course. We have the the um, both of the the um, synchronous settings up in video format if you wanted to go in and and look, and you can see the assignments and how they worked, and the instructions that we gave to the students as well. We also have listed all of the content that was produced for the hackathon, so you can go, actually go in and look at that. We also have the links um, below as well. So um, the um, one of the things that the participants said is, I love this quote because it really kind of um, comes together to what people were saying about their, their experience, and this is um, something that we feel as well and OER, worth it. Oh yes, it was worth it, worth every single penny, because not only that, we allowed the faculty to look for content that speaks to them and to their community in their classroom, and it worked because not only did they get exposure to OER, they got exposures to other faculty that are working on OER, and not only that, is that they came up with some phenomenal assignments that they can use and others are using as well. So it was a wealth of knowledge all the way around. Yeah, it was really fantastic to see all the faculty working together and staff coming up with lessons using OER materials focused on this particular population. And they were from very different disciplines, including nursing, the humanities, um, global languages, so it was wonderful to see, but we did learn some things. Uh, first, um, everyone for participating in this 10-minute lightning talk. If you have any questions, you can reach me with the email address below, and thank you very much.